I think the most important thing is to really have a big plan or a vision of what you want to do. Like, we've only got one life, so you might as well be something that's really purposeful. So I think really big. And if you think big and then sort of come back and think about, you know, what are the steps you need to do to get there, then you can start taking the first step. So I've always done that. Right in my 20s, I thought about what I really wanted to do. And then you just um, start doing the steps. And it always, it's amazing how much faster uh, you get there than what you'd think when you start. So I think the key thing when you're thinking about building teams, if you're the CEO driving forward, is to work on the business, not in the business. So always hire your replacement. And um, I think that's a really hard thing for small business owners to do. But imagine if you had the time to really work strategically on your business and then all the operational stuff was done by somebody who's going to do it better than you can because they're going to do it full time. The other thing I'd say is um, the businesses I've done have worked best when you have complementary skills at the top and they're much more fun. So I, I like businesses with two or three sort of partners, um, you know, uh, that diversity of thought, uh, you know, people are good at one thing, not, not good at the other, but together you're a formidable team. It's a lot more fun. Yeah, so, so most New Zealand businesses are constrained um, by break-even. They don't put investment into their businesses. So th that means you really can't sort of bet and grow. And it's completely fine to um, grow organically. And some businesses do smack it out of the park and they don't need funding. But I think thinking about funding is super interesting. And you can flip it around and say that, you know, if we want all of New Zealand to be better, providing investment products that other people can invest in to help you grow, you know, it creates jobs, it creates more exports, at least to better schools and hospitals. So, so raising money and going bigger is good for everybody. So, so I think it comes all the way down to vision. Do you want to do something big or not? You know, do you want to have a lifestyle business or really grow? And, and it depends where you are, you know, it's completely fine to do that. But we do need some businesses to really grow. Again, if we want New Zealand to be better, if we want better schools and hospitals, it's more jobs, it's more exports. And I think in the middle of your career, certainly before you have kids, it's so much fun getting overseas and building these businesses. And as we know, the world's global now. So I think, you know, go for it. It's so much fun and it's, and it's good for everybody. So, so I think one of the things that we learned is, um, you know, is don't count on this, but you'll always be surprised how your competitors don't move. So doing big, bold moves, I think, is uh, really important. And it's, it's amazing, like, you know, our, our competitors really haven't fired credible shots at us, even, you know, seven or eight years into it. And it's very clear about what we're doing. So, um, you know, I just think go for it. And I think people that act positively and deliberately are so different from most people that just doing the basics kind of works, so go for it.